Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Keith. Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about using an iPad Air as my only computer. I haven't done that before. I have had multiple computers for the longest time and I keep switching between them. And I'm going to I'm going to be giving up all of that for 30 days and I'm going to be using an iPad Air as my only device. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all the applications that I've chosen to be my companion during this process because making a switch from different Windows computers to an iPad Air only is kind of a daunting task and it becomes almost impossible if you have the wrong applications. So if that sounds interesting and you want many reviews of all the applications that I'm going to be using, let's get started. To be very honest with you, this whole video is inspired from two separate creators. So I really like the idea of 30 day challenges that Matt Diavella did last year. So I was kind of thinking of what 30 day challenge I could do that would fit well with my channel. And then there is Fernanda Silva and Christopher Lolly. They use an iPad as their only computers. So I combined both of them and here's that video. So without further ado, let's get started. There's only one rule here. Use my iPad for any and all personal computing needs. That includes planning, writing and editing YouTube videos, personal life management such as task management, note-taking, media consumption, gaming or any such task that I would rather use a computer for instead of my phone. There's one exception to this rule and that will be my day job, which I have to have in order to make sure I can pay my bills, keep a roof over my head and continue to entertain you all with these videos. The app ecosystem of Windows and iPadOS don't intersect as much as I would like. So I had to take a look at all the apps that I use on a daily basis and choose alternatives strategically. I don't want to move to a subpar version of the Windows application or the website that I was using on a Windows computer just because it was available. I really want to dig deep into the app ecosystem of iOS and find applications that will be considered a good citizen of the iPadOS world. Because some of the applications that exist on iOS that are the cross-platform versions of good applications on Windows are kind of very bad applications on iOS and I don't want to switch to those applications. So these are some of my favorite apps that I've chosen as my replacement. I use a combination of OneNote and Notion to write scripts and plan my videos. Although both of them have iPad apps, but they're not very good citizens of the iPad OS world. They don't want to support shortcuts, drag and drop functionality, and the new cursor support that came in iOS 13.4. So I jumped to the best app in this category, in my opinion, Apple Notes. I have chosen to replace Rescue Time with Track Time, although Track Time does not offer automatic time tracking unlike Rescue Time on Windows, but it has amazing shortcut support, so that can be used to automate a little bit. I have set up a shortcut that starts different timers for me, and I have a few automations that are triggered based on what apps I'm going to be navigating to. For Excel and PowerPoint, I think the best alternatives are the Apple's iWork applications, Numbers and Keynotes. Although these apps are nowhere as powerful as the Microsoft's counterparts on Windows, but they can do almost everything that I want to do, so I think these are good for the iPad universe for now. And for Google Calendar and any other calendar related task, I think Fantastical is one of the best calendar applications irrespective of what platform you're looking at. The natural language processing that this app offers is almost perfect. There's no other app that offers this kind of a service for free and that is reason enough for me to choose this application as my calendar app of choice. Although the Google Drive app completely sucks on iOS and I'm still using Google Drive, I don't access it from Google Drive anymore. Instead, Files app by Apple. Being a native application, it has a ton more features than any other third-party app can offer. For instance, it can move files from one cloud service to another without a problem. You can access all the available storage of your iPad and use it as you please. Although I said I'm not going to be using a Windows computer other than work, but there are a ton of files that are sitting on my Windows computer and I want access to them every now and then. So I, ha I have converted my desktop into a server that can be accessed from my iPad as long as I'm connected to the same network. Another integral aspect of my Windows computers are utilities that I have installed to be running in the background. I use ShareX as my screenshot utility 
because it offers me to automatically upload all my screenshots and gives me shortened URLs to be shared. But that is not a problem on iOS as the inbuilt screenshot utility can pretty much do that. One thing that I know I will miss is a clipboard manager. iOS and their copy paste functionality does less than what I would consider essential. There's no clipboard history. You cannot paste multiple items at once. There's no way to separate formatting from the text. So I'm gonna try to do all that with a clipboard manager app called Copied. It claims to be able to read all your clipboard items and save them as soon as you open the application. Other than these major apps, I will be using Spark as my email client, Safari with Adblock as my web browser, Keep It as a capture all place, Slide as my Reddit app, Dark Noise as my White Noise app, Todoist as my task manager. I have developed multiple shortcuts to make some of my workflows kind of flow more smoothly if I may. On the video creation side, this is simple. It seems like this is the only workflow that Apple kind of prioritizes over other forms of professionals. So there are more than enough good apps for audio recording, audio editing, video recording, and photo editing. But I don't want to pay for any apps since this is only a 30 day experiment. So I will be using only free apps or free versions of these pro apps. I'm going to be using Dolby On for audio recording, Ferrite Lite for audio editing, Power Director Pro for video editing and Canva for image editing and thumbnail creation. I would say follow me on Twitter or something but I don't care about all that so see you next week. I think that's a good start for a 30 day challenge and I believe I have everything I need for the upcoming 4 weeks and see how this experiment goes. So if you care about using an iPad Air as your only computer and you want to know more about the experience more than just the applications that one could use to replace a computer maybe consider subscribing. And if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button. And if you want more videos like these, you might want to consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching. This is Keith.